are going to do the solar plexus chakra healing spread. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the solar plexus because I didn't know a lot about chakras when I first started awakening and I didn't realize how connected everything really was. So the solar plexus is in your stomach. Um, the solar plexus rules over your inner knowledge, your power, and your discipline. So uh, like an affirmation for solar plexus is actually, I feel my own power. Physically, your solar plexus rules over your digestion and your metabolism. Um, if you want to balance your solar plexus and you have some essential oils. Some of the essential oils that are solar plexus oils are fennel, um, sandalwood, juniper, lemon, and grapefruit. And then some of the stones are pyrite, citron, which is, this is a giant citron stone right here. Which citron is also the money stone. And I was hanging up one of my dream catchers and one of the feathers fell off but it was a, a yellow feather so I figured that we would put it here with your reading um, tiger's eye and amber and then if you guys are into yoga if you want to just kind of like work on your solar plexus the yoga is a really good way to get your chakras aligned so boat pose and plank pose like plank you know the one you work out that's really good for your um, solar plexus so a lot of people, you know, know if they feel out of balance, but they don't know the specifics to which chakra. So I just wanted to run through what a balanced solar plexus is versus an unbalanced solar plexus. So a balanced solar plexus, you have like a sense of empowerment. You're confident. You've got self-love. You're doing self-love activities. You're actively working towards life purpose. You're motivated. You're at peace with where you are in life. You take responsibility for your decisions, for what you say, for how you make other people feel. Um, you have improved digestion. I know that might be making you guys awkward. And then you have like a really healthy immune system. You know, just things are, there's like a, there's a flow to things within your body. Um, an unbalanced solar plexus can be low self-esteem, low confidence, no sense of purpose, like kind of feeling like you're just aimlessly like wandering you know um getting up to work to go to bed to just that's all you're doing and it's just it's got you very unmotivated there's probably a lot of pent-up anger anxiety insecurity is huge with a uh, out of balance solar plexus low metabolism fatigue poor digestion and then there's like liver problems and then like you know people when they're um uh, depressed a lot of people drink so that liver that plays into the liver so that's actually playing into the um, lack of balance in the solar plexus. So like some really easy ways to try to fix your solar plexus or kind of rebalance it, color therapy, eating yellow, wearing yellow. If you meditate and you visualize warm yellow energy all around your body while you're meditating, and then the sound therapy for the solar plexus is 320, which means that this uh, sacral chakra was um, 322, I remember being weird about that and also being around fire is really good so if you can be about an actual fire awesome but if you can't just meditate with candles around you and yeah so I just um, I really wanted to provide a little more information than just like the the card reading for whatever reason that's kind of that's I'm being guided to give more information than less so I'm always going to include when the <laughs> reading starts because I'm noticing that the intro videos of mine are getting longer, but spirit is telling me to. And as I looked up at the clock, it's 3.22 a.m. And it was 22 at 22 seconds. So apparently, and then I look here, it's 33. So I'm doing what they want. <laughs> I'm, following, I'm following suit. But yeah, if you guys are still here, <laughs> here's the reading. And I hope that we can get things balanced. And So today we are going to start with fire signs and we are going to do the solar plexus balancing chakra spread. Now we are going to start with Leo. So I am going to ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels and my ancestors, please help me to put my ego aside, 
so that I could deliver Leo's message for their highest good today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to say thanks to um, all of my new subscribers, too. It's been uh, more than I expected, actually. So thank you guys for hitting subscribe. All right, so the first card that we're going to do is what represents your solar plexus right now. Oh, God, that was fast. Hmm? A little bit out of your heart right now, Leo. Is there some gossip around you? People, people speaking more than their truth? Speaking their perception of other people's truth, maybe? How can Leo better use their logic? regards to this. Mm, there's a need to let some things go, Leo. There's an emphasis on two people behind you here. There's two people here. I'm not getting you getting the gossip. There might be people unhappy with you living your truth, it looks like. But that's... Um, That's really not going to matter at all once you you put that to rest. However that may mean for you. Whether it means that you are verbally speaking to somebody. Let me move these. Whether it means you're verbally speaking to someone or you know, you're you're letting go of a thought. Maybe you're thinking of yourself in a way that is could possibly be like um, self detrimental thoughts which could come up as a gossip card as well. It's the best way for Leo to be more proactive with this, please. Okay. Stop looking at things as if they're already completed, as if they're finished and there's nowhere they're going to go. <laughs> this is just stuff all over my table. Sorry, guys. Um, the, a need for... So it reminds me of the moon card for some reason. A need for seeing things the way they actually are. I'm hearing rose colored glasses almost. Oh, I'm gonna need more information. Um, what's the best way for Leo to balance the chakra, please? Let's see what other cards they give me. Because right now we're in your sacral and your heart. Those are the two chakras that are highlighted right now. You guys have so much to say. Oh, give me more cards, please, so I can figure out what's going on here. It's almost like you're there's a, a situation like you're something within self that you're not trying to head uh, face head on. It's like a band-aid over a bullet wound. I don't know what this is about, Leo. I have no idea what this is about. That's just like... I'm getting... Um, projecting outwards. Hold on. You're holding on to past memories, thinking there's no way to change your future. And what you view as your future is, in your mind, perfect, and that's what you need. This is like within. Is your solar plexus rules your intuition? You're not seeing things the way they are. What's going to be the result of them balancing the chakra? The 
this idea of perfect self is going to disappear once you realize that you control what what happens your thoughts control what's coming up our thoughts control our reality always so if you're viewing things as being you know like look at their faces they're unhappy You're doing your own thing, but it's almost like you're afraid to step into what you're supposed to be doing because it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't fit the facade of what you think perfection is, the life that you want to live. Damn, that took me a second. And this actually, this mindset's actually stopping you from coming into who you're going to end up being anyways. Like, it's just slowing down the inevitable in regards to where your destiny really is. And that, that happens a lot. That, that really just kind of happened with me, honestly. Um, holding on to an idea of what a perfect lifestyle should be the what the outer appearance should be to the outer world it's really easy to fall into that where you're you're like in a groove of things but it's not like you're uh, underneath it all you're not really happy it's like okay i'm just i'm just doing it but there's not really anything that's gonna like it, there's no way to change what path i'm on if, if I want this, this perfect life, this perfect ideal, I can't, I can't change where I'm at. I can't, I ha I can't change where I'm at. It has to be the same. It has to continue. And what you're going to realize once you balance this and you come out of this perspective and you allow yourself to see things in a different way and you allow yourself to complete, it's like a mindset that needs to be buried so that you can move on to that next level of your life. Like, there is a mindset that, or view, that you have applied to your life for so long that it's got you in this mindset of, okay, this is where things are, this is where it's going to be, like, there's never really going to change, there's never going to be any change, like, this is my idea of perfection, and nothing else is ever going to equate to that. And when you realize that that's just based on your perspective and the way you're looking at it, that's going to that's gonna disperse. And you're going to come into a connection with self and you're going to realize that what you were fighting versus who you are is so, like, look how much smaller this person is compared to, like, the full self. Like, to me, this is you coming into self-awareness of what, what you really need to be doing. And it's not so much that you're on, like, the wrong path. It's more so that, like your mindset is is not aligned with your path for your your soul path it's not like your lifestyle or what your choices are are you okay chiquita the doggies over here choking you okay you okay she's got she's got boogers right now she, she can't blow her nose she doesn't know how to blow her nose poor thing um so yeah it's a mindset that's what's going on here, Leo. That took me a second. Yeah, that would explain why I was... Okay, so, like, when I was supposed to pulling the cards, it was, like, kind of, like, confused, you know? Like, this is the ball. I'm hoping you guys get that now. Um, I was kind of confused. Like... Like, yeah, I see that the sky is blue, but is it really blue? <laughs> like, that's kind of the feeling. Um, it's... It's really hard to grasp. I'm just grasping a wall and there's not really much to 
to grab onto, kind of. Okay, you guys will have to let me know if this resonates with you. So I got the Goddess Power Oracle deck, and I am going to... No? Okay. I was going to use these for the solar plexus, but I'm being told <laughs> to use these instead. <laughs> All right, sweet. So these are the um, sacred geometry activation oracle cards. And, <laughs> well, fine, fancy pants spirit. Please give me a message for uh, Leo's highest good. These are super high frequency cards. I love these cards. I just looked at the clock and it's 9.55, 55 seconds, so. 55, if you guys wanna see what 55 would mean to you. Divine Feminine. The frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to accept, allowing it to express itself openly, and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all creation. It's number twenty-one. And these pictures are actually DNA activations. So even though you may not understand it, like on a three-dimensional level, your DNA responds to these things. Anytime there's a DNA activation, your, your body will respond to it. Um, I'm going to read that. It's a little bit longer of a message, guys, but Spirit wants you guys to hear this, so I'm just, I'm, I've learned not to argue. <laughs> that would be silly. Okay. Oops. Three-dimensional reality is based on the duality between opposites and their eternal movement toward union. Everything is created in pairs, male, female, matter, spirit, empty, full, dark, light, and so on. Without the tension caused by the magnetic push and pull of duels, there would be no movement, and without movement, there would be no life as we know it. When the push and pull of op opposites is equal, a state of balance is achieved. For humans to live harmoniously with each other, the masculine and feminine have to reach a state of union, both outward in relationship with each other, as well as inward in a balanced state of heart, mind, and soul. The masculine and feminine attributes inside all of us have to be fully realized, understood, and expressed. Now that we are moving into a new energy, the enhanced qualities of these two opposites in human nature are emerging and urging us to let go of the roles we have traditionally assigned in the past, allowing a new masculinity and new femininity to arise. The divine feminine is fluid and receptive. It surrenders and opens and is able to easily give way and pull towards galaxies of emptiness and higher consciousness when facilitated by true divine masculinity. This femininity is intrinsically connected to the higher realms and Mother Earth, giving birth to life, ideas, expressions, and dreams. The color pink is associated with the universal love for oneself and others. With sweetness and with tenderness and care, all attributes that are associated with feminine qualities, brighter pink brings in an aspect of alive, excitement, high energy, and power. There are various elements of the flower of life visible as reference to the three-dimensional reality we are creating here on Earth. The light blue refers to our ability to express ourselves with honesty, tenderness, and kindness. The four stars in the corners refer to our form-based reality. The water in the background is representative of the emotional plane, the realm mostly associated with the feminine. Okay, I'm still doing a goddess card for you guys. <laughs> I'm still doing it, spirit. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to do the goddess power oracle as well. I have to move these around. I wasn't planning on doing these, otherwise I would have had these pulled up. 
You know how that shit goes. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Goddess Power Oracle. Goddess Oracle, please give me a message for Leo's house. Thank you. Upside down, so let's find Brand one here. She's seven. Forgiveness. Sometimes we unintentionally cause hurt or pain to others. Sometimes our motive really is to hurt. Now is the time for self inventory and making amends. Your alignment task is to be 100% accountable for your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, motives, and actions. You are not doing this. However, to experience forgiveness from someone else or even from yourself, it is it's to have the strength and fortitude to be accountable and take responsibility for your actions. In this way, neither guilt nor shame can take root in your heart. You stand empowered and humble with your head high no matter the consequences. You will always be the beneficiary of such an act. The goddess Bronwyn says deep healing comes from this kind of courage and respect. So there's an emphasis on having respect for self and getting back into your divine feminine uh, so that you can be in your heart because this is all surrounding around heart, okay? Like this card is a heart card. The divine feminine is all about love and nurturing. Forgiveness is, is required. You have to be in your heart to be able to forgive whether it's yourself or another person. So... Yeah, I'm seeing that there's a need to forgive. Let yourself be who you are, not who you think you're supposed to be. And your intuition will start to come in a little bit stronger for you. All right, Leo, I hope this helped you. Namaste. Bye-bye.